What's up guys? Grant with the Noble Dogs. It's Max's fifth day of training and we're going over a little bit of review. We're going over his heel work, we're going over his place work, and we're also going over distraction sits and duration sits. We're excited to show you guys what to do. Tune in and send me some videos and remember to like, comment, and subscribe. When you're first starting out with heel, remember, don't use the remote collar, use the dog's daily food, and just walk backwards like this. Max, go. Boom, give it to behind your body, like this. Boom, heel. And then move forwards like this. Again, no remote collar. Give him one right here. And then give him two. One right there, boom, bada bing. And then another one right here. The reason why we do two is because we want the dog to sit for a duration. Historically, if you just give him one and keep walking, the dog gets in a pattern of sit, food, stand, and treat. And that's not what we want. Now we're gonna show you how to use the remote collar. We're gonna walk straight backwards. Very good. I can give him the food right here. All good. We're gonna walk forwards. It's all good. Click, 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 click. Dial up. Click, 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 click. Very good. And food. Remember, anytime you use the remote collar, your trust column is dropping and your respect column is growing. So after you use the remote, find a way to build the trust back. The easiest way we found to do that is with the dog's daily food. So again, walking forwards, food right here. Boom, not too worried about that. Click, 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 click. Good, dialing up. Good, looks good, looks good, looks good. Walking forward, bumping them out of my way. Click. Got up here two, baby. One, make sure he's holding it. And two. Now we're just gonna do a little bit of freestyling and showing you when to do it. Then I'll be saying click every time I click with the remote. Click, 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 click. our hand step towards him and click so sit click click face him sit click face him good move away sit good every time i say sit i'm clicking with the remote the key is when he starts to relax you need to be patient faithful step over technique. The good old runaway technique. Nope, sit. Good. And then. Try it out guys, let me know how it works. on the mat command or the place command. The way we're gonna be doing this is saying mat, when he mentally thinks I know what I'm doing, we're gonna be holding down the remote on a low level until he jumps on. The moment he jumps on, we're gonna be giving him some food and then releasing him with the free command. Check it out, 
and I'm excited to show you how to get your dog to go on the place. Max, Matt, good. Max, Max, Matt, click, 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 click. No, click, 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 click. Matt, click, click, Matt, click, 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 click. Max, whee! Max, Matt, click, 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 click. Whee! Ah, full smart boy. We're gonna do a little bit of freestyle and show you guys how to do it. Max, Matt. Click, 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 click. Whee! Matt, click, 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 click. Whee! Matt, click, 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 Matt, click, 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 click. Whee! Whee! Matt. As Max progresses with the training, we're going to be saying the command with no click, and if he doesn't respond, we're gonna be clicking at a higher level. So remember, when your dog doesn't understand what they're supposed to be doing completely, use it often and at a low level. When your dog knows what they're supposed to be doing but is blatantly doing it incorrectly, don't use it, but when you do, use it at a high level. Hope that helps, and look forward to helping you with your noble dogs. Right now, I have the remote on 100, and I'm letting him be free, letting him explore what it's like to explore the animals and get to know the animals. If he tries to do any nipping, barking, or anything like that, I can eliminate it without having to worry about dialing up. And we're just letting him explore and make some friends. Thanks for tuning in guys, and remember, whatever your dog's doing, when you want to use the remote collar or the leash, do the exact opposite. If they are breaking a sit and walking towards you, you're going to want to walk towards them and click, or walk towards them and use the leash. If they are running this way and you want them to come with you, run the opposite way and use the remote collar or the leash. And also, when you're trying to get your dog to go onto the placemat and they're going away from you, run towards the placemat and use the leash or the remote. Thank you guys again for tuning in and please list your questions in the comments and I will respond to them. Look forward to helping you with your noble dogs. <laughs>